okay? <laughs> okay. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. Today is gonna be a video that I've done before. Also, don't mind this tan line. This video is gonna be a bit different just because I haven't filmed in a really long time. And because I haven't filmed in a really long time, I've had an abundance of product empties build up. Hi, um, so this is editing Abby right now. I'm literally editing this video right now. Why am I so depressed in this? Like, Miss Mama, pick it up. Like, I'm literally processing this like a death. I was like, sorry, like, I don't know, like, how this is gonna, shut up. Be more enthusiastic, but I won't be because that was in the past. So now I'm apologizing, so. Yeah, that's my bad. So it's gonna be three separate videos, one that I filmed a while ago, one I'm filming right now, and then one that I'm filming when I get back to school. Before we get into this video, remember to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, link will be in the description, and You can comment if you want. So the first thing I'm gonna start with for body care is these two body washes. This is the Dove Rejuvenating Body Wash. I actually really like this. This didn't like break out like my shoulders or anything. I have really bad, um, it's not acne, it's like calcium bumps on my arm. I don't know, it's hard to explain. Will I buy it again? I don't know, like I'm one of those people who like likes to keep using different things, so probably won't buy it again. Next body wash is this Neutrogena Body Clear grapefruit body wash and this is supposed to help with acne like body acne so that's why i bought it for my calcium bumps however i didn't see a difference with this one either like that one just said it was a body wash so like i w didn't have any expectations but this i kind of expected to get rid of some of like the calcium bumps. so wasn't a huge fan of that definitely won't be buying this again the next thing i have is this shaving cream from eos or eos or whatever you want to call it this shaving cream is honestly just so good this like really hydrated my legs like as i was shaving them it was almost like an in shower moisturizer like as i was shaving my legs which is good because usually when i would shave my legs with like a regular shaving cream like from gillette or something my legs would be super dry after i'll definitely be buying this again and then the last two things i have here i have a mineral hand cream from ahava beauty and then i have this aloe vera like body cream from like the brand vaseline this is actually really good it was like super thick so i put it on at night like i wouldn't put it on in the morning but this was so nice super moisturizing um like not heavily fragranced and then this one i was using for sunburns and stuff because it was really like it would cool your skin after you get sunburned and it actually helped to heal it faster as well so that's what i used this for and it worked really well so i am going to buy this again so this is the peppermint foot cream from the body shop i actually really like this i would put this on at night put some socks over top and my feet would be really soft in the morning and then this next product was a foot scrub that you use in the shower um i remember my mom was using this and so then i finished it so sorry sorry mom i didn't find it was as gritty as i want it to be for like a foot product because you know like the dead skin on your feet are, is like really rough as opposed to like on your face or like on the rest of your body so i felt like it could have been a little more coarse the next body care product we have is this nivea men aftershave like balm kind of thing it's like for sensitive skin i use this after i shave because i get a lot of ingrown hairs and this helps to not have the ingrown hairs and also i kind of have um chicken skin on my legs which is like when you can really see the pores after you shave so this is really good i already bought another bottle of this and i'm gonna see if i can find other products like this um but so far this one is the best and i like like the consistency of it as well because it's not um super thick and it's really lightweight and so it dries really quickly so that when you're putting your clothes on you don't feel like all tacky and gross i have this nair shower power sensitive skin like hair removal cream this was actually not bad 
This one is for sensitive skin, and I've had the other one before, like the normal one, but this one is much better. Um, the other one kind of burnt my skin almost because I would use it on my um, underarms, and I would find that it would like, because the skin under there is kind of sensitive, I felt like it would kind of burn my skin. I use this on my legs as well, worked really well on my legs, worked really well on my underarms, but the other one just burnt my underarms. So I would, if you're gonna get a hair removal cream, I would say go with the sensitive one. Next I have two sort of body wash products. So the first one is this Ole Whipped Body Wash in, um, I think it's white strawberry, okay. Yeah, white strawberry and mint. Um, this was really good, I have another one of this right now. I mean, it is a body wash and to me like a body wash is a body wash. You know, there are definitely some that are worse than others and this is not one of them. But I don't necessarily think I try this again. I think I'm just gonna keep trying different body washes. The next kind of body wash product that I was talking about is this Dove exfoliating polish. I really liked this. This was really good. I used it all over my body. It really exfoliated my skin without being too rough. And it's really good to do before shaving because it takes off all the dead skin so that you get a closer shave. I'll probably end up buying this again, but right now I'm gonna try a Tree Hut scrub first and we'll see how that is. And if I like that one better, then I'll continue to buy those. But these are really moisturizing, so I really like this. This is the OGX coconut coffee body cream i had to cut this in half because it was so good this cream is the best body cream i've ever used um i'm definitely gonna buy this again so like i had the neutrogena body wash for acne this is the oil free acne wash um so i actually didn't buy this my sister bought this and then she was like um i don't really want it so then i took it i won't be buying this again just because like it was an okay cleanser but like the beads were kind of annoying and I just don't have acne prone skin. So like, why would I buy it again? The next cleanser is also a cleanser that my sister didn't want. And it is this foam cleanser from Echo. Like you can see the brand right there. I felt like this left my skin really almost dry after I use it. Like it would really strip the skin and it says it's supposed to remove impurities. But I feel like there are cleansers that remove impurities, but don't completely strip your skin of everything. So I wasn't a huge fan of this. It really made my skin feel dry after. I have two more face washes left. This one is from Nip and Fab and this is one is from Garnier. This Nip and Fab glycolic cleanser, I actually really like this one. Um, I felt like it didn't strip my skin really, but it almost like exfoliated it a bit. I don't know, it's hard to explain. And then this cleanser from Garnier is the Soothing Cleansing Milk. And the reason why I like this as well, this is more of a cream cleanser. I just thought it was good. Like it was moisturizing again, didn't like wow me or anything. So I'm not gonna buy it again necessarily. Okay, so the next one I'm gonna have is kind of like a face wash, not really. It's like a scrub. This is the St. Ives Energizing Coconut and Coffee Scrub. You could really feel like the coffee grounds in there and like that's good like if you really want like a rough exfoliant for your body but on your face like i don't know like it just was like a little bit skeptical to me i've used st ives product before this one is definitely one of the harsher ones i've used um this one i like the walnut one was pretty harsh as well but yeah so i won't be buying this again just because i prefer more of a chemical exfoliant anyways and the next thing i have is this toner from lush this is a tea tree water toner this i liked i could definitely see like um like the dirt kind of coming off of it and it did help to like purify my skin i did see a difference in my blackheads so this was really good i don't know if i'll buy that again i just have these oxy deep pore cleansing pads like i wouldn't buy it again just because it was super drying because it like it is for acne prone skin and like that's just not my skin type then i have two face masks so this one is the sephora coconut water rubber mask so this is kind of like the dr jart ones like the baby mask where you like shake it up and stuff I'm not gonna open this because it's so nasty. Like, okay, so here's what happened. I thought I could like use this twice. I was wrong. I mixed it up. I used it one time for an Instagram video. Uh, I put the cat back on thinking I could use it again. I was wrong. You can't use it again. It's like, it dried up like within the next couple of days. Um, and now it's all moldy inside. So I'm not gonna open it. It's like literally disgusting. This, I wouldn't buy again. It was kind of gimmicky. I really just bought it for the video that i was doing on instagram and then this other mask i have is from nip and fab so like the glycolic cleanser this is the glycolic instant mask i love this so much this 
helped my dry skin out like it would take off like the flakes of dry skin but didn't leave my skin dry this helped remove like my blackheads i think i'll pick it up again next i have these two face sprays from garnier i really like the garnier face sprays this one's the soothing rose and this one is the hydrating like aloe one i love face sprays like it's bad like because is a waste of money probably but like i don't know i just love face sprays so much and then i have these like little miscellaneous products this one is um a serum that i got at marshall's this is a nourish organic pure hydrating argan face serum this was so thick this was like and i really like that um because i have dry skin like the thickness was like really hydrating but i would recommend mixing this with a uh, moisturizer just because it was so thick and it almost adds like more moisture to your moisturizer um i don't know if i would buy this again i feel like i can just find like another face oil like it's just a, it's just an oil really it's not even a serum then next i have this lip balm from sephora this is actually really good this is not what i expected from sephora i thought it'd be like not hydrating at all but this was actually hydrating it kept my lips nice plump for the day didn't dry them out which like a lip balm shouldn't do but some lip balms do and blistex is like my ride or die lip balm but that was like okay too the last thing i have from like miscellaneous part of the skincare is this milk makeup cooling water stick now i really like this because i did feel it was cooling however that was in the winter now that it's summer i do have another one and you really have to keep it in the fridge like if you just keep it in your drawer it's not cooling anymore i don't find this i really liked but the only thing that bothers me is that i can't get the rest of this product out and i tried to like scrape it kind of you can kind of see the dent marks in there but it wasn't the same as just putting it on i don't know if i'd buy it after this one again just because like it doesn't stay cold which i'm just finding now um and it also irritates me that i can't get like the rest of the product out so last thing for skincare is moisturizers the first one i have here is this neutrogena one it's the oil free one for dry skin which i think is odd like if you like i guess like if you have dry skin and acne like oil free might be good but like i don't mind oils so i don't really know why i picked this up but still good like i don't mind it um like it was okay nothing too special didn't keep me fully hydrated throughout the day like if i wasn't wearing makeup i'd put this on like two or three times so like i don't know this next one is from garnier this is the um refreshing gel cream for dry skin this one was actually not bad i feel like if you have dry skin this is good for the summer um just because it's like hydrating but it won't leave you like all shiny and greasy and oily you know um which is good so yeah i did definitely like this for during the day but i like a heavier cream at night so i don't know if i would buy this again just because like i don't know like i like the neutrogena hydro boost one more than this one but so i probably wouldn't buy it again the next one i have is this vitamin e moisturizer this is a 48 hour moisturizer for dry skin um this did not do that at all like i don't know like this was definitely not a 48 hour moisturizer i wouldn't buy it again the claim is that it's for dry skin and i just didn't feel like it suited my skin type so i don't know it also have, has dyes in it so i'm not a huge fan of that either and then the last skincare product and moisturizer we have is this estee lauder revitalizing super cream with global anti-aging cell power cream now this is the how do i say this this was not good um that's all there is to it this was the thickest drying cream i've ever used in my life i like it was thick it didn't moisturize didn't hydrate didn't it was not for dry skin period that's all there was to it it made my skin more dry if anything it was so heavily fragranced it like like it didn't irritate my skin which is good because usually fragrances do and you know what too this was so expensive this was like just a second this is 105 this is 105 dollars the next kind of micellar water we have is this yes to tomato and charcoal 
um, my cellar water. Um, I didn't really like this to be honest. I had it and then I just used it because I had it and I had already ran out of the other one. So I definitely wouldn't buy this again. The Garnier one is way better. And then the last thing for makeup removers and like cleansers is this Pond's Cold Cream. This is my favorite makeup removing like balm kind of cream cleanser because it just does such a good job of taking off my makeup now i'm gonna move on to face masks i have two face masks here that i finished this is the um l'oreal pure clay mask i think this was the charcoal one and i really like this this one is almost a dupe for the glam glow super mud mask and you know that one's really good but this one is way cheaper um the glam glow one is 75 dollars and this one is 15 ish the next mask i have is this pore steam mask i honestly i got this from I think I got this from Winners or Marshalls and you know, it was all right. Definitely wouldn't buy it again if I found it, but this was really just like a random product that I decided to pick up because I thought like this little guy was like cute. Okay, next I have two face mists here. This is the Pixie Glow Oil Face Mist and this is the Olay Mist for like calming. There's an energizing one that I'm just finishing up right now um, at school. And you know, both of these are really good. However, I do like this Pexy one better because it just gives your skin like more of a glow. Both of these you can use as skincare, as a setting spray, as a priming mist. So they're both kind of like the same idea. Garnier Ultra Lift Eye Cream. I honestly did not see a difference with this. I know a lot of people don't think eye creams do anything, but I have had experience with the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream, and I really liked that one. I felt that it made a difference. It made my under eyes look like brighter. So, um, I don't know. I just really didn't. This one was just for extra hydration, which was also good, you know? Like, this had no negative effects, and it added some hydration, especially since my skin is really dry, but I won't buy it again, and I'm definitely gonna try out other products. Then I have this this Garnier SPF 15 day cream. I really like that they had SPF in it, even though you should put on more SPF along with your moisturizer. I just like the extra protection. Um, and this cream was really hydrating. And I usually find that things with SPF in it are drying, but this was not the case, which I was really happy about because I was a little bit concerned about that. But then this ended up being really good, a really thick consistency, which I like because I feel like it keeps my skin moisturized throughout the day. And then finally, I just have this little Blistex product. This is just like a little lip medication. My um, lips get really chapped. You know, this was okay. I really think just a blue Blistex in the pot works way better. But you know, this was okay too. Now, the last category is makeup. Let me start with these two sprays from Pixie. So this is the Rose Glow Mist and this is the Hydrating Milky Mist. I really like these two. I'm almost finished the Glow Mist as well. Um, I... The Hydrating Milky Mist is the best. I use it to refresh my makeup. I use it to set my makeup. It like, it's hydrating, but it also keeps my makeup in place, which is really good. So I really like this one. We'll definitely be buying this again. This one was like, okay as well. It left more of a sheen almost. Like it wasn't as hydrating, but almost had like sparkles under it or something. Um, this was like good, but not as good as this one. So I'd probably buy the Hydrating Milky Mist again. I'm not sure about this one though. And then the next two sprays I have are from e.l.f. So this is the Illuminating Primer Mist and this is the e.l.f. Beauty Shield. So this Illuminating Primer Mist, this is like the Smashbox like primer water, but it's like e.l.f. instead. I thought this was good. It was a good primer. I don't know if I'd buy this again, but the other thing that's kind of tripping me out, there's like metal balls in here, like keep it like so it's easy to shake up. If they're rusting in here and I'm putting it on my face, not a big fan of that. So I don't know if that's what's going on. Actually, let's find out. Yeah, so this ball is rusty in here. Um, so, and then this e.l.f. Beauty Shield, I love this setting spray. This is a setting spray, it sets your makeup, or you can like put it on before makeup. If I can find it again, I'll buy it again. So then I have two more sprays. So that's like six for makeup, 
two for skincare. So one's like skincare and makeup and the other's makeup. So this one is the mini hangover mist. So this is like the travel size one. It's not mini necessarily, um, but it's smaller than the original. I will definitely be buying this again. This was so good. This kept my skin hydrated, but also set my makeup in place. You can use it before, you can use it after, you can use it throughout the day. I really like this. I definitely want to pick this up again um, in the bigger size. And then the next one I have is from Tatcha. So funny story about this. I actually didn't finish this whole thing. Um, I got it halfway full for my friend who didn't really like it, I think. I think she said it broke her out or something like that. But I really like this. It made me look dewy, it made my skin dewy. So I really only, only finished half of this. I don't think I'd pick this one up again. So next I have three mascara kind of products. I have this Lancome Mascara Primer. This was really good, I really like this. This is obviously not full size, it's like a sample size almost. But I really like this primer um, for mascara. I like mascara primers because I have really short eyelashes and I also find that um, mascara primers kind of help curl my lashes as well or keep them curled if I curl them. This was really good, one of the better mascara primers that I use so I would pick this up again. This one is also a mini. This is from Milk Makeup. This is the Kush Mascara. I don't know how I felt about this one. Like, it was okay for my bottom lashes, but I really found that the brush was, like, kind of, like, too big almost for my eyes. And then this last mascara is the Pink Pewter Collection. And then, like, one side, like, this is the curling side. Look at this wand. This wand is nuts. Like, what? And then on the other side, it's volumizing. Look at this mask. Like both brushes are absolutely insane. Um, I didn't finish either side of them just because I felt like this mascara was so dry. It flaked everywhere. The brushes were so weird. Like were not functional whatsoever. Like I feel like this is more gimmicky than anything. Like there's nothing wrong with double-sided mascaras if they work, you know? Like it just, like this really? Like, no, not that one. Like that one's like massive. It's like bigger than the milk makeup one. But like really, really you had to do that? Like, this was like Minesweeper. Like what? Now I have this gel liner from Maybelline. This looks like I haven't used it all, but it's a gel liner. So you like twist it up, the bottom fell off though. This was really good. This stayed on all day. I love a white eyeliner. I don't know why. I just feel like it brightens your eye. But I really liked it. So I'll probably pick it up again. And then I have this Smashbox Studio Skin 24 hour concealer that I finished. This was really good. It was waterproof. It stayed all day. The only thing I'd say about this is it does oxidize a bit. So like this isn't actually the color. Like you'll put it on and it'll be the color, but then it turns a bit orangey. So just watch out for that. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I really like the Born of This Way concealer and the Fit Me concealer from Maybelline. The next product I have is this lip gloss. This is from ColourPop, but the outside like kind of wore off. And I am so sad about this. This is my favorite lip gloss I have ever used. And it's discontinued. This was the Finesse lip gloss and it almost had like a blue pink reflect, like sparkles in it, but it was so subtle. And I tried to get like one like that from Stila. It's not the same. And then the next and final product I have for this whole video and for makeup is this Hoola Quickie and a Contour Stick. The, or Contour and a Quickie, I don't know if, like, whatever. This, I love this so much. It was like a warm kind of, okay, so they call it a bronzer or a contour. It's more like a bronzer. Um, contour is supposed to be like more gray toned and that was like definitely more warm, but I loved it so much. It just warmed up the skin, not patchy at all, super easy to use. And cream contour was like a super intimidating thing for me at first, but then I started using it, oh, so good. The first product I have is not so exciting, but it's this Duo Lash Glue. Um, this lash glue is pretty good, but there's another lash glue I like better, and it's the brush tip adhesive, and it dries clear. This one dried clear too, and this one I had no issues with, but I just think I like the other one better. Then I have this NYX Micro Brow Pencil, the NK Mall. I really like this brow pencil. This is definitely a dupe for the Anastasia Brow Wiz or the um, Benefit Ultra Precise Brow Pencil. So yeah, this was really good, and the shades there's a lot of shades i think there's like five six seven shades all across the board this is really good then i have this mac paint pot in the shade painterly i use this every single time it looks like there's a bit in there but it's really it's empty it's all dried out 
Um, I use this every single time I do one of my eye looks. So I have another pot that I got and I used it today. And every single eye look you see me do, almost every makeup look you see me do, this is the base that I use. Cause it's just, it's so good. You can cut the crease, you can carve out your brows. It's just overall a really good product. And then the final product for this section of the video is this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I have another one of these. This is my favorite long wear setting spray. So as I was saying before, I really like a skincare facial mist, but this is definitely my favorite setting spray of all time. It just helps stick better. You know, I see my makeup lasts longer. It doesn't break apart as easily. So yeah, this is really, really good. It's just get into it i mean this video is going to be long enough as it is so the first category for my product empties is body the first thing i have here is this palmer's stretch mark cream i did use this for my stretch marks um did i really see a difference not totally i like bio oil a lot better and i have that as an next product so i'll get into that a bit later but um this was a very small tube i'm sure they have bigger sizes maybe ones with like a pump and then if i had used it longer i'd see more results but i do like bio oil better so i'm gonna stick with that but this was nice to try super moisturizing you know like there wasn't any fault with it but i just think that bio oil is better next is bio oil bio oil i've been using on and off for a really Really long time um my mom bought it for me when i was really young maybe when i was like 14 she bought it for me just because like i have a lot of stretch marks my weight has fluctuated a lot causing them to like show up on me literally everywhere so um i have found that this helps and you know this is probably my third bottle going through it but i just got back into it so i went through like two bottles like when i was like 14 15 and then i got back into it because i was like okay hey, well now that i'm into body care i want to try i want to see i want to pay attention see if it actually see if it actually has results and so i tried bio oil again and i really like it and this size lasts forever so i will definitely be buying this again the next product i have um in the body care section is this o'keefe's healthy feet foot cream now in one part of my other videos i think i explained this but my feet get really really dry and like calloused so what i do is i put cream on my feet and then put it put my socks on on and I wear it overnight or sometimes I'll even wear it during the day if I know it's just gonna be like kind of a lazy day and I'm just sticking around the house this was awful if you like this all the power to you but this really did not work for me so I definitely will not be repurchasing this this next product is from soft soap this is a coconut I don't know what it's called coconut butter scrub so this is a body wash with like little scrubbies in it I don't know, like little granules that like help to exfoliate your body. Um, but I didn't realize this was like actually a body wash. I thought this would be like a tree hut scrub. I thought it would be like a dove body polish, you know, like just for exfoliating, not for like washing your body, which is fine if you want like a two in one sort of situation. But I wasn't the biggest fan because I felt that it wasn't like exfoliating enough. I won't be buying this again. Not that there was anything wrong with it, but I don't know, like I just wasn't the biggest fan. The last thing in the body product section is this Nivea Cherry Blossom um, body cream. This has jojoba oil in it, so it is really good for um, dry skin. You know, like it definitely wasn't the most hydrating body cream I've ever used, but you know, it was pretty good. I won't be buying this again. I do have like a few skincare products here. This is the Neutrogena makeup removing oil. I think that's what it's called. Oh, ultra light cleansing oil so this was like not bad for what it was um it was kind of weird though when you rub it in your hands it turned blue i don't know if the, it's because the color like seeped into it because when you pump it out on your hands it's not blue but like maybe the color from the bottle like kind of seeped into the product if it was sitting on the shelf for too long this was good for what it was i'm not gonna buy it again next i have this face mask from l'oreal this was like the red clay mask, I think. I did really like this clay mask. Um, this is, again, like the body products. I probably won't buy it again just because I like to try new things. Next, I have these two products. They're both from Pearl Essence. This one is a rose hip oil, and this one is 
a serum. This is the 24K Gold Peptide Infusion Illuminating Facial Serum. So I really liked this actually. It was really hydrating, it was lightweight, it wasn't too thick, it dried really quickly. So it was nice in the morning because then I wouldn't feel like tacky all day. Um, and I ran out of moisturizer at one point and I was only using this and this like completely did the job And then also this rose hip oil was you know, it's just a facial oil Um won't buy it again. I'll try something else out. So for moisturizers. I have two of them The first one is this Sunday Riley title water cream Um, this was pretty good. Honestly, like this wasn't bad. Um, obviously like I finished the whole thing the problem is though is this is very deceiving um this looks like a massive container of like moisturizer and then there's like no room inside like the container's like literally this thick like i don't know like this didn't last me very long this lasted me like maybe a month and a half which like usually moisturizers will last me a bit longer um so i was irritated about that but otherwise this was a pretty good cream i'm not gonna buy it again because i want to try out different moisturizers so the next kind of facial cream i have is this vitamin e cream now vitamin e cream can be used anywhere on your body obviously like it's just for dry skin but i really like this in the winter when my skin gets really dry because i put it on my face and like overnight and my face immediately is like revived the next day and it's not like all crusty and like flaky um this is also really good for when i have like little eczema flares like i'll have it on my chest or on the back of my hands and i'll put this on and if i put it on like a few days in a row um my eczema will clear up a bit same with like on my arms and stuff this is great i'll like i've been using it for a long time my mom has always had it so yeah i mean like i'll just always use this this is gonna be really exciting like for me anyways this is the most amount of makeup products i think i've ever gone through in one product empties moment so the first thing i have is this maybelline fit me concealer this thing is so busted do you see this like the label's not even on it anymore this is so gross i pulled out the stopper to get the most amount of product out of it out of it this is all on the sides like I can't really get that out, but you can see it's like scraped and whatnot. Maybelline is not cruelty free or vegan. Since I know that now, I probably won't be buying their products anymore, even though this concealer is so good. So if it doesn't bother you that Maybelline's not cruelty free and not vegan, knock yourself out. So this is really random, but I'm actually getting rid of this brush. Yeah, it just like disappears in there. I can't really get it out now. But I was literally using this one day and the brush went like this. I tried to glue it. I tried to repair this. It's just not going to happen. Next in makeup, I have this eyeliner from Araceli or Araceli or something. I don't know. It's right there. This eyeliner is fantastic. I love this. I put this on. It stays all day. It's really black. It's not like that semi-black kind of grayish kind of scheme it's like a actual good gel eyeliner i did get this in an ipsy bag so depending on what the shipping is they might not ship to canada um i'm gonna try and buy this eventually but i don't know what is gonna happen there so like don't mark my word on it so next i have this brow gel from essence this is just the clear brow and eyelash mascara or something like that mm, yeah it says yeah lash and brow gel mascara this is great this is a great drugstore um brow gel right now i'm using another essence one it's more tinted but i really like this for every day this is really good and i will be repurchasing it okay so we're on the last few products now um one of them is this essence glitter primer this was terrible this did not work at all i put it on and it was almost like wet like it wasn't like it wouldn't get tacky but it was a pain in the ass to get off my eyes um so yeah, no, I won't be buying this again. This is the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the color Champagne Glam. I love this lip gloss. I will be buying it again. Like, as soon as I see it in stores, um, I will buy this again. 
And then the last two products are both lip liners. This one's from Pop Beauty. Yeah, there are definitely different lip liners that I've liked better. And while this one wasn't awful, I just won't be repurchasing it again because like, while I like the color, it's not my all time favorite lip liner. And then the last product is my favorite lip liner of all time. It's this color and everything. I think this is in the color Tea Time. I'm not 100% sure though. I love this. This is really good. It's like five bucks. Okay guys, so that is all for all of the product empties in this video, this section of the year, I guess, whatever you wanna call it. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram. Um, turn on post notifications if you're already subscribed and you didn't know that was a thing. That really helps me out because it's like more interaction with my channel. I'll see you next time. Okay, bye.